Now on Sunrise, the Thanksgiving like no other, but that's not stopping us from giving thanks and giving back. And we're live at Union Gospel Mission, where cooks are in the kitchen, making sure that no one goes without a hot meal today. You may be waking up to some lingering clouds, but when will we see the sun? I'm taking a look at the holiday forecast plus your seven day. Plus, what's on your Thanksgiving menu? We have three healthy alternatives packed with the same great taste, but without all the calories. And there's some things you might want to leave off the menu, whether it's in person or a virtual dinner with family. We talked to an expert about what to do if conversations get tense and what you can do to keep the peace. Then what's Thanksgiving without a little holiday shopping? Before you pull out the card, there's a few online shopping do's and don'ts you should know about. It's Thursday, November 26. Care 11 Sunrise starts now. We're wishing you and the family happy Thanksgiving this morning. Today is much more than the turkey and the mashed potatoes. It's about giving thanks as well. So this morning we want to know who or what are you thankful for? I know there's a long list this year. Text us here on set 763-797-7215. We'll be sharing your answers all morning long. Alicia also gets those texts at home as well, and she's here with us as well as Guy. Guy, let's get to you with our Turkey Day forecast. Turkey Day forecast. It's going to be a great day uh, to eat whatever. Um, great day to eat, right? <laughs> uh, it'll be an even great day uh, to get out and burn some of those calories off too as we get into the evening hours, maybe for a bike ride or for a walk because temperatures will actually be warmer than yesterday in the upper 30s and 40s today. AM clouds will break, give off to some sunshine, quiet into the weekend with a little mini warm up come Saturday. 32 right now feels like 25, so starting off the morning a bit chilly. Twin Cities hourly planner will show temperatures climbing into the upper 30s already by lunchtime with a sun and cloud mix, more sunshine towards the afternoon. Guy, I already have my eaten pants on. Perks of working from home in my basement. All right, let's give you a look at the roads. 494 at Fish Lake Road, if you're waking up in Maple Grove. It's pretty quiet out there. I haven't seen much uh, going on in terms of the morning commute. So if you're getting ready to head out, uh, nothing to slow you down out there. We're tracking breaking news in Minneapolis this morning. Police are investigating a homicide. It happened just before three near the intersection of 27th and DuPont Avenue North. The victim is a man in his 20s. No one has been arrested. Now this is the city's 77th homicide of the year. Well, help when you can. If you can, that is a message from Governor Walls this morning. It comes at a time when giving thanks and giving back mean a little more this year. And this morning we're taking you inside Union Gospel Mission in St. Paul, where volunteers are doing just that. Kaya Edwards is there now. I'm Kaya. Good morning. Thanks and happy Thanksgiving to you. A lot of meals to prepare for. Oh yeah, Gia, happy Thanksgiving. A lot of meals for a lot of people. We're talking 13 to 1400 people who will be getting meals today. All right, right now in the kitchen, volunteers are beginning to arrive and set up. They're actually gonna serve breakfast first, but yes, they are prepping too for the big Thanksgiving meal. All right, now out of those 400, uh, 1400 people that I mentioned, about two to 300 of them will be eating right here on site. You're looking at video from previous years, of course, pre-pandemic. Now this year, tables will be more spread apart and not everyone's gonna be in at once. Meals go from uh, noon to 1.30. We spoke with the coordinator who says, usually they do have about 50 volunteers, but today there are only 10 but they're still pulling it off, especially considering just how many people are in need this year. The last two days we did our food bag distribution where we give out grocery bags and turkeys to the community and with a drive through this year. Um, normally we do a little over 4,000 bags on site. This year we handed out 6,500. And I think that just speaks to the need that's out there right now. Yeah, some of the people in need are uh, experiencing homelessness. They're also going to be, the volunteers will, delivering meals to senior citizens out in St. Paul. They actually have 19 high rise apartment buildings that they're going to be delivering meals to, and that makes for about 1100 people getting a free box meal delivered today, Gia. Yeah, such important work that they're doing. Kaya, thank you for sharing that. We'll check back with you in about half an hour. 
Well, if you're looking to get a COVID test, you might have to wait. Community testing centers will be closed today and tomorrow for Thanksgiving, and getting an at-home saliva test won't be easy either. State health officials say the service went down across the country yesterday, affecting orders as well as video visits with a test supervisor. Well, let's take a look at the numbers here in Minnesota now and take a look at this bar right here. Now, this is the number of new cases in the last day. We had 6,399 new cases. There were more than 65,500 COVID tests that were given, the highest number that we've seen since the pandemic. But sadly, 72 people lost their lives because of the virus, and that ties our previous record set a week ago. Across the border, more than 5,460 people tested positive for COVID. That again is this blue bar right here. 63 more people died there. Alicia? Well, Sunrise is live this morning from the White House, where the president not only pardoned a turkey for Thanksgiving Day, he also pardoned his former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, which is sparking some mixed reaction across the aisle. Now, President Trump, he granted a full pardon to Flynn, who you may remember pleaded guilty twice to the FBI uh, during that whole Russia investigation. Now, this announcement came from the president on Twitter yesterday, reading in part, it is my great honor to announce that General Michael Flynn has been granted a full pardon. I know you'll now have a truly fantastic Thanksgiving. And a statement from Flynn's family thanking President Trump, saying that he answered their prayers by removing the heavy burden of injustice off the shoulders of Michael Flynn. Now, Trump using his presidential power, saying that Flynn has been mistreated by the Justice Department. Flynn was fired back in 2017 for lying about his contact with the Russian ambassador. This year, criminal charges were moved to be dismissed by the Justice Department, but a judge didn't sign off on those, leaving Flynn in legal peril. That is, until now. Democrats and, of course, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi are all saying this was a complete abuse of power from President Trump. And the House Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Schiff said that the pardon wasn't a surprise whatsoever. They saw this coming, but it was nonetheless crooked. Gia? Now here's a look at some other top stories in your morning rush. Minneapolis police officially banning no-knock warrants. That's when the police execute a warrant without announcing their presence first. This tactic has been heavily scrutinized since the death of Breonna Taylor when Louisville police shot her executing a no-knock warrant. Now Minneapolis police SWAT team will have to announce police and search warrant before entering. GOP lawmakers in Minnesota are asking for a statewide recount. In a lawsuit, they allege canvassing rules were broken in several counties. Minnesota Secretary of State Steve Simon says there's no evidence of widespread fraud or miscounting here. Right now, one in eight Minnesotans is experiencing hunger, which is why the Walk to End Hunger marches on, even if it's virtually. The Mall of America usually hosts thousands of walkers. Now the mall is live streaming an hour-long event at 10 a.m. with speakers and entertainment. Money raised will go towards nine Twin Cities-based hunger relief organizations. You can register at event.walktoendhunger.org. A great way to start the season for Gopher men's basketball. The team beat Green Bay in its first game of the season right at home. Final score was 99 to 69. It'll take on Loyola Marymount on Saturday. And that is your Thursday morning rush. Let's take a live look at this now. A live picture from New York City. There's Rockefeller Center. This morning, crews are getting ready for the 94th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And this year will be a bit different. No crowds lining the streets, and this year's route will only be one block instead of several miles. You can catch it right here on CARE 11, though. The parade kicks off at 9 this morning. Coverage starts on the Today Show right after sunrise. 6.08, let's get to Guy with our One Thing Weather. Our One Thing Weather today, mostly cloudy skies for the morning time. With temperatures in the low 30s, climbing up to the upper 30s and uh, low 40s with building sun. And no surprise here, the morning commute, it's quiet out there as a lot of people are enjoying the holiday today. Happy Thanksgiving to you for just joining us. No crashes or delays. Well, if there's a time to experiment with your Thanksgiving meal, this is the year. This morning, we've had some healthy Thanksgiving meal alternatives. And don't worry, it tastes the same. So we're told Sonia Azad opened up her kitchen for us this morning. Let's start first with green bean casserole. This is one of my favorites, but I will admit I eat it sort of the traditional way. I'm curious to see what you've got in store for us. Okay, so really quick, this is not your traditional 
cream of mushroom with the fried onions. We use a cauliflower crust that we've gone ahead and cooked and crumbled up for the topping, which makes it delicious, and some toasted almonds, and that's the trick to making it fabulous. Okay, that sounds delicious. I will try it. I've got the ingredients here. Uh, next, let's move on to stuffing or dressing, whatever you call it. Let's make it a little heart healthy, a little carb conscious. What do you do? So we take some vegetables. Again, you'll have the recipe online, saute them. But the key, once again, is adding a grain-free, gluten-free Italian cauliflower crust into the mixture. And it's tasty, that's important, right? I was gonna say, it looks delicious. I love all of that stuff. Now, another one of my favorites is oh, mashed potatoes. But do you, can you do, I mean, cauliflower mashed potatoes are a thing at this point. They are a thing, but I wanna say that people still struggle making them. And I think the tip for me to you is to use a cheesecloth or a milk bag. It's really important to drain all the liquid out, but that's the key to making mashed potatoes, cauliflower mashed potatoes, like mashed potatoes. You know, the, the telltale for me would be like, if nobody knows that it's cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, it's so bland, so put whatever you want with it, and that's what you're going to taste. Okay, so if you get into hot water, help is just a phone call away. Butterball's turkey talk line is open right now. 1-800-BUTTERBALL, easy to remember. And don't be ashamed, it's helped nearly 50 million customers since it first started in 1981. Yeah, I've never used it myself. Alicia, how about you? I use my mom. She's probably just as good as the butterballers uh, on the hotline. But it's tough when you're making your first turkey, man, and you need someone to help. Right. That's a great resource to have. There's a lot of pressure, and other people are eating your food, and you want it to taste good. Okay, we're also talking Black Friday because uh, Black Friday sales, they're underway. And this year, a lot of us will be shopping in our PJs while on the couch. But before checkout, online, there's some do's and don'ts that you need to know about. Plus, whether you're eating with your family in person or seeing them virtually, it can be stressful how to tackle those tense conversations without ruining the meal. And everyone wants a bite of that Thanksgiving meal, even your pets. Our Verified team will tell us what's uh, safe for a man's best friend.